Let's look at this concept, this idea. Found in Isaiah. Comfort ye. Comfort ye. Taken from Isaiah chapter 40 verse 1. Comfort ye, comfort ye, my people, says your God. Comfort ye, comfort ye, my people, saith your God. If you understand the grammar of the King James Bible, then you'll know that there is a distinct difference between the personal program, pronoun ye and the personal pronoun you. Ye is always a subject of the verb, the one doing the action, and you is always the object of the verb, the one receiving the action. Ye is always plural, you is always plural. So this injunction really says, you comfort, says your God. Ye comfort, says your God. Who then will comfort us? Obviously it is someone who belongs to God. Who is the best one to comfort us? That is the question. We have a tendency to look for comfort in all the wrong places because we misunderstand the heart of our God. Since he is the better, all else is the less. But that doesn't hinder us from wanting our comfort to come from those who we deem most able to provide it. I'm short of funds, so let a millionaire come and comfort me. I have a need, so let them that have no need come and comfort me. In this age of extravagance, we would be enchanted if an angel came to comfort us and we would capture his presence on our mobile phone and we would then upload it for all to see. But angels sent from God to minister to us, yes, are not really sent as comforters. They can't really comfort us. They can't even comprehend the weakness, the feebleness, the failures of our self-effort and strife. This is why the darling of heaven was made a little lower than the angels so that he could suffer death and himself be comforted and therefore comfort us. When our God comes to bring us comfort, he sends the good shepherd. See verse 11. Hear the voice of him that cries in the wilderness. What does this voice tell us in preparation for the coming of the comforter? In our need for comfort, we realize that all flesh is grass and has a sustaining power of the flower of the field here today and gone tomorrow. It is the word of God that stands forever. Listen up, our God will come. How will he come? He will come as the shepherd. He is the one who measures the waters as a drop in his hand, who holds a span of the blue void above us within the stretch of his fingers. He knows the weight of the mountains and the hills and even the dust of the universe. But remember, this almighty one who commands the angels comes to you as a good shepherd to be your helper and your comforter. If you're pressed down and feel yourself without comfort, look out, look about, because his comfort is surely near you. To get to a place where the seas of Turmoil can rock themselves to rest. Open up the curtains and gaze out at the landscape and the sky, at the seascape and the void of blue, at the nightscape and the volumes of the stars. 
He who has numbered the stars and named them knows your name, knows who you are, knows the number of the hairs on your head, knows your weakness and frailty, knows your fears and anxieties. And yet, he calls for you to look out for comfort. And when you've found that comfort, to hold it and rejoice in it, and then pass it along. Ye comfort. In the midst of anguish and pain, it hardly bears considering, but oh yes, it is true, you will arise to the comfort that you've received, and you will arise to comfort others with the comfort that you will be comforted with. Just look up, look out, and expect the Good Shepherd to come and comfort you. Hallelujah. And then, ye comfort, ye comfort, my people. Hallelujah. We're sent to be a comfort to one another to encourage one another, to esteem one another, to build one another up, to lift up one another. Praise his mighty, blessed name. Ye comfort, ye comfort. King James can front verbs because it's so powerfully simple. Fronting means that you put the verb before the subject. So comfort ye, comfort ye is an imperative for us to comfort with the comfort that we have been comforted with. And that comfort that we comfort with has come from the Good Shepherd, from the Lord. Read this passage in Isaiah and be encouraged and become a comforter. Hallelujah. In his name. Amen. Amen.